new and fun. Oh my god, did you hear that? My armpit just farted. <laughs> Not just the mower. Whoa, I just realized I did a full ingot look and I did not use your life. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a review on the new, why do you have to play me? We're doing a review on the new JLO X Inglot collaboration. So you guys might have seen, but I actually was very, very lucky to be invited over to Vegas on a press trip with Inglot to see these products firsthand. So I have had a little bit of time to play around with them, but only a few of the products. So this is kind of like a first impressions review slash I might have tried a little bit of them. <laughs> I haven't been able to put them to the full test until now. While we were over in Las Vegas, we actually got to see Scott Barnes, which is JLO's makeup artist, do a demo. So I got to pick up little tips and tricks from him as well that you guys might find useful. And I compare the difference between this new collaboration with Inglot's already their products. <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know Inglot is where I actually started out. I worked there for two and a half years, so I do have a really in-depth knowledge of the products already. So I think it will be interesting to see how the products kind of compare to each other. I want to just keep it super smoky, super sexy, jello glow from within, bronzy goddess. I couldn't do a jello review and not do like this type of look. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look and also what the sus is on these products, the pros, the cons, is it worth spending your money on, your dollar on? I know I was invited over on the press trip, but this video is all my own opinions, my own thoughts on the products. What makes this collaboration different from the products, the Inglot products that I already know and love and I'm so used to? Then just keep on watching. Oh my god, I look so cakey and ooey right now. I can't be dealing with this. My skin is in an absolute heap from like flying and everything. It's just... <clears throat> so obviously this is JLo's collaboration with Inglot. So everything in this line has little... I don't know if you can see that. Has a little JL in it. Packaging compared to like normal Inglot packaging is insane. Like it just looks so like glamorous. I love the black with the gold. I just think it looks really, really chic. So like I said, in this collection, there is a mixture of powders and bronzers as well. The powders are called Nude. So there's Nude 1, Nude 2, etc. And then the bronzers are called Boogie Down Bronze, which I think is really cool. And then they each have their own name. So I'm using the Boogie Down Bronzer in the shade, oh, like up in the shade Golden Sun. So I'm going to apply this first. Like I said, I used to work in Inglot. What is that? Obviously, I'm really, really used to their products and how they work. My skin isn't in the best condition and condition for the face products at the moment. It's just so dry. So yeah, that's very similar to Inglot's powders already in that it's like super, super pigmented and you only have to use the tiniest, tiniest amount of it. Now then, to sculpt my face a little bit more, I'm going to be using the new sculpting powder. So JLo has also come out with new sculpting powders. Sculpting powder is one of my favorite products when I worked in Inglot. They're just super, super pigmented and they're absolutely gorgeous on the eyes. Four new shades of these. Obviously, because it is JLo, everything is going to be a little bit more on the warm side, but there is a nice range of color between these. No, JLo is known for her warm glow. I'm actually only taking the tiniest, tiniest amount of this because I'm kind of scared. And we're just going to hit that right into the hollows just to kind of us a little bit more. So we're looking a little bit brown. <laughs> we're just all the same color at the moment so you guys know I love blush. Let's come out with blushes as well. Again I'm expecting these to be super super highly pigmented. I'm using this one here which is called blush. It's the peachiest one. It still is quite pink you guys know. I'm kind of afraid of pink blushes but this is quite light so it should be fine. So taking a tiny amount and you guys know normally I like a blush with a highlighter to it as well but it's fine, we can make a walk. I was so happy whenever I seen there was blushers in this because you know, your girl loves a blush. It's a really nice color actually, I really like that. Ooh. So obviously the JLo Glow, the JLo Glow, we are expecting some intense highlighters, all right? So she's come out with new Trio highlighters, which again, were one of my favorites in Inglot. I love how you have the lighter going to the darker. This means that you can apply your highlighter but also blend it into your bronzer at the same time. Again, these are great for the eyes also. I'm really cheap, guys, all right? I like using products that I can use for more than one thing. <laughs> she also has come out with a sparkle dust as well, which is super, super intense and super sparkly. But I'm gonna be using this. This is in the shade Silver Dust. Just taking a mixture of the two lighter shades first. 
and just popping that onto the highest points. That's like the definition of like golden glow. It's literally the most golden. I don't know, I nearly was expecting this one to come out a little bit grayer, but it's really not. It's quite like, it's like a gold, but not yellowy gold. It's like an old gold. And I love an old gold, antique gold kind of glow. Do you know what I mean? Am I making any sense? <laughs> yeah, that's cute. It's not the most intense highlighter I've ever used, obviously, but the trios have always been like that. They're more of like, you're never gonna look I don't know, like stripey with these guys because obviously there is a three or they're so easy to blend. If you want more of like intense highlighter, want to be seen from space type jam, then go for the sparkle dust. That's it for the skin, I think. So moving on to the eye. So JLo has come up with 20, all right, 20 new eyeshadows. What's most interesting is the fact that there's only a few matte colors. There's only four matte colors which is a little bit scary. A lot of the colors have a shimmer through it, like this. Now, normal matte eyeshadows, whenever they have a shimmer like this, I still use them like a matte eyeshadow. Find the shimmer doesn't really pick up unless you're like pressing it on. You can use, you can blend it out and use it as a matte eyeshadow, which is something I used to love doing. I always love the consistency of the shimmery eyeshadow. The collection, even though like, obviously there's loads of like, you know, your basic jello, what you would expect, you know, like your nice warm browns, you know, the easy colors basically. There's a lot of colors that I didn't expect that are a little bit different but are still super wearable. Like for instance, there's this mossy green, which is called olive, and has a little bit of sparkle to it. I wouldn't have expected that, and I really, really like that color. Deep amethyst, I have no idea if I'm saying that right. But as you can see, it's a really, really deep, shimmery purple. Kind of different colors, but they're still not too crazy that the average person wouldn't be able to wear. I did get to play with the eyeshadow slightly just when we were away on the trip. It was over top of stuff that I already had on and it was very quick and just rushed, so I didn't really get a good feel for them. So today is gonna be the day. First off, I'm gonna take this shade Ivory, which is this kind of whitey shimmery shade, and I'm gonna pop that onto the brow bone. Okay, wow, that's, that's very pigmented. You only need the tiniest amount of that. Taking my next shade, Sienna, which is just this gorgeous yellowy brown. Now you guys know I only ever use the tiniest amount of eyeshadow, like I only ever really dip in like that. Okay, yes, they are super, super pigmented. <laughs> Just gonna work with what I have and blend that out. Like that looks like I've got like two, three eyeshadows on and I only have the one. I'm gonna take this shimmery shade this time. So this is what I used to do all the time with the other Inglot eyeshadows. So let's see how this performs. This is rich gold. It does look a little bit more shimmery compared to the other. Oh no, okay. Yeah, no, that's gonna be super shimmery hell and let me try it on my bad eye first okay so i'm just picking up the tiniest amount and just blending the very edges of that i'm literally only like very lightly dipping my brush in because mm, let me see okay so there is a little bit of sparkle on my eye but nothing like crazy nothing that you can't like dust off i will say it is a little bit more sparkly than the other Ingla eyeshadows that I would use to do this for. Like I can tell by it that it is a little bit more sparkly, but it's still a really nice color to blend things out with. You just have to use the tiniest amount. The next shade I'm gonna take is Cafe, Cafe Ola, Cafe Ole. Applying that in the exact same way, just keeping it a little bit closer to the lash line. Going in with this dark shade then Bordeaux. It's a really, really nice dark chocolatey brown. It's really running that into the lash line first. Bring whatever is left slightly up into this outer V. Just blending your life away. Wow, she's pigmented. What am I doing now? Oh yes. So, there's a new gel liner. Black gel liner called Midnight. Interesting. Whenever I first seen this, I was like, why? Because, you know, 77 gel liner is, that's what Inglot's known for because it's so good and everyone loves it. I don't know if I'll be able to tell the difference straight off the bat, but I heard rumors that this is a little bit more creamier, it's a little bit more blacker as well, and that you don't have to use gel line with it as much, that it it kind of glides across the eye a little bit more. Because obviously the 77 gel liner is more of a mousse, so it can dry up quite quickly if you leave the top open in that. So this is supposed to be a little bit more creamier. So what I'm gonna do with this is just very messily line that small little 
a little some some is left i'm just gonna blend up here i'm just gonna take a small little 13p then and i'm just gonna blend that gel liner further i don't want any harsh lines i want this to be super smoky i want to make sure you do this before it dries and then what i'm also going to do is take the black which is pitch black just a little bit of fallout with that but super easy to blend away i'm going to take the brown and just blend the edges of that again okay so what goes up must go down i just applied the exact same shadows that i did on top underneath again guys i cannot stress you only have to use the tiniest teeniest amount of those eyeshadows like they are so pigmented jlo has come out with a number of gorgeous gorgeous pigments they're already cool names like cosmic glow and like celestial and just very they're ethereal it what eth eth ethereal what i have no idea how to pronounce that ethereal but whenever we were over in vegas we were lucky enough to get to meet jlo's makeup artist scott burn that i could pick up little tips and tricks and whatnot for him and he used one of the pigments in his demo, but he actually didn't use anything to stick it down with. And I've never done that with these pigments before. I always use like Duraline or like glitter glue or something like that to stick it down. Wow. Like you can see, they're they're intense. Like the Inglot's pigments aren't here to play around, all right? I'm gonna take a tiny amount on my finger and I'm just gonna press that on top. Oh, cute. I cannot stress, I'm using the tiniest of mine because I'm so afraid of getting fall. Oh crap. Oh wow, I really like how that turned out. That's literally just using my finger, guys. You could use a little brush if you wanted to. It nearly gives like a wet look, kind of like sheen to the lid. This was Cosmic Glow, so it has like a little bit of like a greeny reflect to it. You see there, a little goldy greeny, slightly purple reflect to it. What I have to stress as well, guys, see all the makeup that like big celebrities and stuff like that are wearing? It's so easy, like it really is so easy to create. Like everything's really smoky. It doesn't even necessarily have to be like blended that well. There's not that much focus on the eyes. It's more so the skin and making sure it's perfect. But moving on to lashes. Now I know your reaction to this is gonna be the exact same reaction as what mine was. These are the lashes. Like, Kawil. What am I supposed to do with these? We're gonna do a little custom job on these, all right? What I'm actually gonna do is, basically with these, you actually get two pairs of eyelashes. That's the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> There's actually a split in the middle, and you can see in the middle, that's when it's actually shortest. So that means obviously this part's supposed to be at the outer portion of your eye. So this one's for your right eye, this one's for your left eye. This one's for your right eye, this one's for your left eye. So what I'm gonna do is layer these bad boys together and actually create like a more fuller lash. Hold on, let's just see what this looks like by itself. Because actually what a lot of celebrity makeup artists do as well is they actually only apply lashes to the outer corner. Like that nearly. Do you know, they like something that's just going to give a little bit of smokiness. They're not mad into their big ass eyelashes the way I am. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the two right lashes and kind of overlapping them. One lash. You see what I did there? You see? So that way it is more wispy on the inner and outer corners and in the middle you get a little bit more fullness. Boom. See? See how that just gives like the most natural kind of like fluffiness and like sexiness and lift to the eye. I know it might seem like a lot of effort but like it's really not. And the thing is, right, we complain all the time about how unreal looking these celebrities are and whatnot. This is what they do. All right, this is what a lot of celebrity makeup artists do. And we can't be complaining that we're not JLo if we're not ready to put the work in. <laughs> and I actually, personally, I have been loving like a more natural, I say a natural lash, even though I am wearing like two pairs right now, but I am preferring a more like wispy, natural lash recently. I just find that, you know, I always thought I needed like a big ass eyelash to lift my eyes up, but you really don't. It's just about where you place the eyelash and where it actually lifts up. And by having kind of double volume, more so focusing onto the middle and outer portion of the eye, you're really getting that lift. Again, this is a tip that I learned at Makeup by Mario's Masterclass as well. They're all doing it, ladies. They're all doing it. Now, moving on to the lips then. I've actually only tried one of the lip products so far. It was the gold lips. Guys, let me tell you something. That lip gloss will change your life, all right? Gorgeous iridescent gold, and I mean, in the sunlight, you just look like an angel. Like, your lips look like angel lips, all right? 
I'm going to be using my trusty 63 lip liner as always. So just thought it was fitting as well since I'm doing an Inglot review. JLo has come out with a range of different lipsticks. She has normal just lipsticks and then there is matte ones as well. Loads of different tones of nudes which I really appreciate because people don't understand but like there's a different nude to suit every skin tone, there's a different nude to suit every preference as well. It's not a matter of just sticking one nude lipstick and thinking it's going to suit everybody. The packaging I love like again the little JL on the lipstick obsessed it's the little things guys so the one i'm going to use today is floor pinky peachy nude honestly it's just it's me like do you know you guys know you guys know oh oh my god okay it's a little bit glossier than what i was expecting and it's a little bit pinkier than what i was expecting that's such a weird formula okay the color is a little bit too pink for me. So this is the matte lipstick. I'm gonna try it instead. It just looks a little bit more peachier. It's still really pretty like but it's just not what I wanted. That's like a really weird formula as well. It's quite like it's really like a it's not glossy but it's like it's really hydrating. It I've never actually tried a lipstick like that before because it's nearly like a lipstick balm. I don't know does that make sense? Yes. Now we're talking. This is the shade Flamingo, so this is the matte one. It still doesn't feel too matte though. This is definitely different than any other matte lipstick Inglot has. I never used to wear the Inglot matte lipsticks because I thought they were quite drying. Like I'd have to use Geraldine to get it onto my lips. They're quite waxy. This one isn't. Wow, that formula is great. We're still looking a little bit pinky, but I think that was because I put the other one on underneath. And 63 actually has got more of a pinky undertone. Though. So I'm going to be trying one of the lip glasses on top. These are actually called lip glossies. Again, they come in a range of different colours. Like I was telling you about the gold lips one. <sighs> Unreal. But I'm going to be using the pigmented one today just to try something a little bit different. This is in the shade Pinky. And I know it's in the shade Pinky, but it is actually quite peachy, so. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look how glossy that is. Okay, so the lip products, I really, really like them. I'm actually really surprised because I never heard anyone saying that there was a difference in the lipsticks, but there really is. Okay, so this here is the finished look and what is my rundown? What is that doing? Come on. Get it together, get it together. Okay, so let's kind of run down through the products really quickly again. The powders, the grand, like any other Inglot powders. Same with the sculpting powders and blushes. They're the same kind of formula. Same pigmentation, same application, same blendability. Again, these guys are great for using on the eyes for transi transition colors if you haven't tried that then definitely try these next up the highlighter this is definitely more of a sheeny highlighter as opposed to like a sparkly super intense one like i said if you want a more sparkly super intense one you can use the sparkle dust now, a lot of people actually don't really like like super intense glittery highlighters this is the one for you moving on to the eyeshadows then like all in the eyeshadows Super, super pigmented. Don't have to use an awful lot of product. I cannot stress that enough. It stresses me out when I see people literally like swirling in the eyeshadows, whipping up sandstorms. Like you don't need to do this. Pigments, gorgeous. Just all the different reflex. I really like how they have like quite like space themed names. I'm down for that. Like super easy to use. I never thought of just doing that before, only after seeing his demo. You can use Geo Glue or Geraldine, whatever you want, to stick these down and make them a little bit more pigmented. Whoa, I just realised I did a full Inglot look and I did not use Geraldine. Wow. Gel liner, I mean, honestly, I can't really see a difference right now, but I've only used it once. <laughs> it ticks all the boxes, the same as 77, as in like it's super black, it's still really easy to blend, it's quite like a moussey, texture. I'm actually heading to South Island Street now so I'm gonna go in and ask the girls what's the difference between this gel liner and the 77 gel liner and I'll leave it in the description box below just because they've used it more times than me so they'll be able to give you a better idea. Also is a new mascara Viva Las Lashes and there are two new brow gels. I didn't use them because I'm all into brow pencils at the moment. The lashes, I love them. I, I love them. I'm telling you guys, I'm on this natural lash kind of vibe. And after seeing both Mario and Scott doing that technique where they layer lashes on the outer corners, like, 
again this is what they do this is what they're all doing we want to look like celebrities this is what we got to do i just feel like by not having a lot going on in here it really kind of opens up my eyes and then by having a lot of lift out here it just kind of you know what i mean the lipsticks super impressed with you need gold lips in your life i am telling you this now i am telling you this now all right <laughs> there's honestly nothing really i can say bad <laughs> about this. I, I wasn't really expecting to either to be honest. The fact that I worked in Inglot before I know how to use these products so I kind of went in I guess with a little bit more knowledge than what another person might not have went in with. <laughs> I know the price point is a little bit higher with this but I kind of expect that anyways to be honest just with the packaging and the fact that it's with JLO and the different formulas and stuff like that. That might be the only downside that people see. Everything else, I love the products themselves, the packaging, these cool like packaging as well, like you can see. Put four eyeshadows in and your two sculpts so you could have like your sculpting powder or your blusher or your highlighter or whatever. Super, super handy. If I had to pick my favorite part of the collection, I honestly think it would be the lips, the lip products, because there's just so many gorgeous nudes in it. But there's the finished tutorial for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed and you learned something new and fun. Oh my God, did you hear that? My armpit just farted. <laughs> Not just the mover. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up down below. And also let me know what you're gonna get from this collection. What's your favorite thing? What have you been, what have you been eyeing up? Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching once again. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.